Hey you guys, just a little bit of a trigger warning before we get into today's video. I'm going to be talking about death. I'm going to be talking about the psychology and philosophy behind human nature in general. There's a lot of deep topics that are being delved into with this review, so viewer discretion is advised. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be diving into my review of Everything is Going to Be Okay by Nashley Lawhead. The suffering of a human besides death I feel like is one of the greatest equalizers that we will ever experience in our human life in, in ever because let's be real we have no idea what comes next after after death after everything just goes you know just after, i could have done that a lot smoother after everything just goes you know it goes off <laughs> it's an equalizer it's an agent that humbles us it creates melancholy it creates sadness and joy and love and respect and you know if you you leave your hometown and you miss it that's a part of it too you know that's there's so many uh things that we experience in hardship in love in gratitude in loss in every part of our existence that we you know we see a little bit of suffering in there we see a little bit of that and we can't know uh greatness we can't know happiness without that suffering everything is going to be okay showcases a deep philosophical and psych uh, psychological understanding of the human condition at its finest and how we all just long to be rid of our suffering and just belong with everyone else around us the curse of being a human is that we need others to survive. This game showcases that in awkward mannerisms of where we try to belong with other people, in the way that we try to formulate our words correctly so that we don't sound awkward in front of other people. Oh my God, do I always sound awkward in front of other people? I try to say the right thing. I try to do the right thing. It's part of the human condition. Like an addict looking for their next tie, I feel like acceptance among our peers and even the older generation, it's one that we look for, we long for, we, we need it to survive a lot of the time it's a nature versus nurture kind of thing and when it comes down to it the, the it's a time old debate of where this game shines a light on the philosophical way our environments and the people in our environments create our understanding of reality create what we know to be true and what we know to be false and how we guide ourselves around this world it's a part of the trauma and the love and the manipulation of life we we need other people and unfortunately some people will be our downfall now each post that you click in this game goes deeper and deeper into kind of this rabbit hole of the subconscious now um for personal reasons and for um, Natalie's privacy, I will not be discussing certain posts because they can be uh, a little more trigger heavy than others. There actually is a trigger. Um, I need to remember post production to put a, uh, a warn a trigger warning at the very beginning because there, you know, this is a heavy topic, obviously. Each post that you click goes into the stress of human conflict. It goes into the stress of just wanting to belong, you know, having a, a matcha latte with the best, or do we just sit in our room watching Netflix with our cat? Like, there's always this constant debate of what ifs, and should I do this, and what if I don't do that, and how am I supposed to do this when I know it's not morally correct? The conflict, the pain, the sadness that goes along with being a human, sometimes at the cost of who we are, it's downright exhausting, but if you, it, it doesn't take much to be a good person. And that's kind of the uh, the whole point of the game, I feel. Natalie shows us that they want the drama. They want the clickbait sorrow. They, they want things to be just how they want it to be, right in their control, right at their fingertips. Because if people don't have you in their control, they get angry. They're like, oh, oh, oh no, what, what's happening here? I don't have this person in my control. So they look for others that they can control. And I feel like the way that we see the world through rose-colored glasses those glasses get a little bit too heavy sometimes and we really need to see the world for what it is in order to appreciate people, the world, situations around us. The world is a beautiful pain a lot of the time and like fun-loving masochists that we are, much like an Elden Ring, uh, we, we run into people who want to see our sadness bear it out to the world for everyone to see uh, you know they, they want to be able to see us you know have our souls canceled or something that's kind of, uh, you know, as innocent as like pineapple on pizza <laughs> sometimes. But then you run into really good people. You run into people who want to see your soul blossom. They want to see the flower of who you are bloom. And I think that's very rare, but you know, it's also not impossible to find. They believe in the reality of you. Some people will believe in that reality. They'll believe in you so strongly that it becomes almost intoxicating that the belief of another person 
is what helps the journey of that person survive, if that makes sense. Everything is going to be okay is a testament to the human mind and all it is in our thoughts that we carry in a world that's so beautiful yet so divisive. You guys, that was my review on Everything is Going to Be Okay by Naturally Lawhead. Go check out their stuff. All their links will be down in the description below. If you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below. I make videos every day here on YouTube. May you find your worth in the waking world, your hunter. Stay casually nerdy, and I will see you all in the next video. Umbasa.